guys, I hope you're all well. So today is a cool video because I'm using one brand and that brand is Kiko, as you can probably tell from the title. But I'm really celebrating their latest collection, which is their Mini Divas collection, which is a collaboration with the handbag designer Benedetta Brusicci. Now, I'm so sorry if I said her surname wrong. I'm not Italian. <laughs> but Kiko is now 20 years old, which is amazing. And they've come out with this awesome capsule collection um, called Mini Divas and they are all mini products perfect to fit in your handbag and for travel. Firstly I must say the packaging is so cute. Here's an example of some of the packaging. It's so sweet, it's pink and gold. Perfect for me, I love it. <laughs> and I think a lot of women and girls will love it too. So in this collection there is quite a lot. Um, there's a baked bronzer, which I'll quickly show you, which you'll see in the tutorial anyway, which looks like this, which is the perfect size to put in your bag, your travel bag, all of this stuff would fit in your bag, like, it's perfect. Um, I'm not just saying that, I honestly think this is such a great idea. I have a lot of bags and sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't really take much makeup with me because I have to have other things in there. Um, I swatched the lip sticks for you. I am obviously wearing the lightest colour in the collection, but there's also a really pretty red, which is kind of a bit pinky red, like, and also like a pinky purpley shade, which is beautiful too. I have already worn the red, which was stunning. I wore it yesterday and I felt like very sassy with my bold lip. But these are the lipsticks. I'll show you the shade that I can actually use. This is how small they are. They are tiny. And to be honest with you, I thought I would have trouble holding them because of my hands, because it's hard for me to hold fiddly things, but I was absolutely fine. These lipsticks applied lovely, mm, they're super creamy. There's also baked eyeshadows in the collection, a blush, an eyeliner, a mascara. You'll see it all in the video. And also this little set you can take away with you, which is to cleanse and tone your skin to remove your makeup and tone it afterwards. And obviously, because this collection is um, a collaboration with a handbag designer, obviously there would be a handbag in the collection. And what's pretty epic, it's Perspex and see-through, so it's kind of like trendy and cool. And I've just popped a couple of bits in there that, um, so you can see a couple more bits. And that little um, like case in there is um, a nail and tweezer set, which is always great. I mean, I'm gonna be using that for life for travel. Um, an impressive collection, I must say, and um, congratulations Kiko for reaching your 20th birthday. If you would like to see how I achieved this really summery, glowy look, then please do keep watching. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Liquid Skin Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. I really like the smell of this foundation, it smells really fresh. It reminds me of holiday a little bit. <laughs> So I'm just um, blending this into the skin. Next I'm going to be using the Dark Circle Concealer. I'm just going to pop it under my eye and then blend it in in a moment. I'm just going to pop a little bit in the centre of the forehead to highlight that area. Cupid's bow and the chin. And just blend that in. I know it's with dark circles, but I'm popping it on as a bit of a highlight as well. It really does cover the, the dark circles, and I really suffer badly with dark circles, especially today, because I didn't sleep very well last night, so I definitely need this, and it's really good. So before I set that, I'm going to be using a highlighter, and I'm actually going to be using the eyeshadow as a highlighter today. This is a wet-to-dry eyeshadow. It's in the shade 208 and it's a very pretty golden shade. You can use these um, wet or dry. I'm just going to use it dry today. And it adds like a really like wet look to your skin, which we all love. How pretty is this? So I'm going on the top of the cheekbone, I'm running it around the edge of the eyebrow. So I pop it on my cubist bow to make my lips look more full. I run it down the bridge of the nose so my nose looks slimmer. And I pop a little bit at the end to lift up the tip of the nose. I'm now going to set the under eyes with this Invisible Touch powder, which is just a loose powder. You could bake with this, um, 
but I'm not going to today. I'm just going to pop it on the underneath the under eye. Just dust it underneath. Finally, we're going to use one of the amazing um, Mini Divas products. And first of all, I'm going to go in with the Bait Bronzer. So I'm going to pop it in the normal places where I would put like bronzer contour. And this is in the shade 02. So it's a very light bronzer, but it still gives a really nice contour effect. I love it. And it's quite matte for a Bait Bronzer, which I like. Very nice and it blends gorgeously. Then the other side, just warming up the skin with a real nice golden goddess glow. And then I'm just going to put it around the top of the forehead, just kind of, kind of make it look like I'm a bit more sun-kissed. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Mini Divas blush, of course. And this is in the shade 01, and this is the Bates blush, and it's a gorgeous pink. It's beautiful, like very rosy. And again, it's really quite pigmented, like it's really going up on my brush. So I'll tap it off a little bit, just to make sure I don't look too blushed. And I'm just going to pop a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and run back to the hairline. Like so. So for brows, I'm going to go in with the Brow Expert palette in the shade 01. And um, I'm just going to skip through this. Um, I'm going to do it off camera because it takes me a while to do my brows. <laughs> so as you can tell, I've done my eyebrows off camera. And I also decided to do one eye off camera because I wanted to know what look I was doing. And it's so pretty. It's kind of a look that I always go for, which is a good thing because it shows that, you know, the products are usable for what I like to use these sort of colours for. Um, so in the crease, it's a really simple look. So in the crease, I'm going to be using the mini um, Divas Baked Bronzer again. So I love it when you can use a bronzer as your transition shade or your crease shade because it just makes life easier. It makes the look so much simpler. And I think earlier I said this was matte, where it is, but it has kind of like a really nice like little glow beneath it. So it's not completely matte, it's kind of like got a sheen to it which I really like. I'm choosing a fluffy brush. This is a Kiko 200 brush. And I'm just popping this in the crease and the upper crease area, going in circular motions and window wiper motions. And then I'm also gonna run it underneath the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna run it underneath the lower lash line and connecting it with the eyeshadow at the top. This is such a lovely bronzer, honestly, look. I like how I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder because I'm like, so nice. Okay guys, the eyeshadows are the cutest little things you'll ever see in your life. Look how small they are, but they're perfect because they're so small you can just put them anywhere. Um, this is the Mini Divas Baked Eyeshadow in the shade 04 and it's this beautiful golden colour. So I'm just going to apply this all over the base of the lid with a wet brush. I think these products always apply nicer with a wet, slightly damp brush and the pigment um, stands out a little more with any baked products. Oh, it's so summery. I love it. It's like my signature look, but with only Kiko products. And then on the outer corner, I'm going to use another one from the collection, and this is 02. Guys, can you just tell that these shades look like they were made for me? Like, how many times have I used colours like this? It's my favourite. And I'm popping this on the outer corner of the eye. Such a beautiful burnt orange shade. This will look gorgeous all over the lid as well. I'm going to go in with the darker shade in the collection, which is 03, and it's like a coffee kind of colour. Again, damp the brush slightly, and I'm going to run it right close to the lower lash line. So just along the lower lash line, on the all the way along, really, just stopping probably at the end of my and people just to add a little more definition to the eye and to make the eyes look a little bigger to open up the eyes some more i'm going to be using um the shade 01 which is the lightest shade in the collection it's a very nice champagne kind of color I'm popping that on the inner corner and that just really awakens the eye like i said earlier 
I'm super tired, so I need to open up these eyes. <laughs> and the brow bone. So on the lash line, about up to halfway of my eye, I'm going to be popping on the Mini Divas eyeliner. Now this is just a black crayon. I'm going to pop it up to where we put the orange copper shade, just to deepen the um, lash line. This would be great in the waterline, obviously, but with this look, I don't feel that I need to put it in the waterline today. And what I'm going to do to blend that out a little bit, let's go back in with the darker shade in the collection, 04, and go slightly over top of it, just to blend it a little bit. I'm going to grab my big fluffy brush, go through the crease to make sure there's no harsh lines. Blend it all out. And the mascara, guys, look at it. Oh, I just love the packaging. So, yeah, I'm going to be using the Mini Divas mascara. So, I'm just going to pop this on the top and bottom lashes. So, that is the eye look done. It's simple but super summery and effective. I think it's very like glistening and pretty and it'll catch the sun beautifully. So now I'm going to pop on my lipstick and I showed you all three shades earlier but being me I'm going to go in with the nude and this is the shade 01. It's a beautiful nude but um, there is a picture on Instagram of me wearing the red shade. Yes I wore it yesterday and I loved it so you'll see that there or I'll insert a clip here. Um, of me wearing it. It was a gorgeous shade, but I think with this look today, I'm going to go in with the nudie pink. Really goes with the blush really well. How nice that lipstick, guys. It really complements the blush perfectly. What do you think of this look? I love it, and I think it's perfect for this time of year. Please let me know your thoughts. I will put um, the collection in the description bar below so you can have a look on the website and have a little browse and buy some bits if you like. But yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much to Kiko for sponsoring this video. It's so amazing to be able to work with fab brands. Um, I hope you all have a great day and I will speak to you soon.